Hey folks, welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. Today we are going to be breaking down the Eastman AC Grand Auditorium Series all the way from the 100 series to the 900 series. We're gonna talk about the differences like in each guitars. one of those. We're gonna talk about the specs, what makes one better, what makes one worse, and all of the great things. We're even gonna give you tone samples of each one of the series so that you know which one will fit you the best. We're gonna do all of that right after this. Jeremy, welcome back to another video. We are here at the Acoustic Shop channel where we specialize in all things acoustic. Everything located in the heart of the Ozarks, the That's Queen right. City, they call it, Springfield, Missouri. You're correct. And uh, we love acoustic instruments and we're huge fans of Eastman guitars. In fact, we were awarded the number one Eastman dealer in the world for acoustic the guitars in Maryland. So uh, all those acoustic instruments, we love them. We love talking about them. And one of the most popular series from Eastman and one that I think really kind of got them going in a lot of these... Uh, the, the flat top world. I think it's just the entire line, but yes, I, this is definitely a strong suit for them. They wanted to AC. cover all of the bases of the major guitar styles out there. I believe it stands for AC. alternating current. No, it's, I believe it originally was the AC series was all of their acoustic guitars. Okay. Uh, they actually had a series of dreadnoughts corrected. and OMs and everything that fell under AC. But as of a few years ago, they decided to make that different and the AC series now only pertains to the uh, Grand Auditorium's Grand Concerts, and maybe someday we may see some other in the modern style. Yeah, it's kind of the modern style yeah. build. So you got the traditional dreadnoughts and, and uh, small OMs body OMs. and slope shoulder dreads. Look a little bit more traditional, and then their uh, cutaways and more modern build. Sure. The, most of these, honestly, to be honest with you, are inspired by the Taylor style bodies, um, which again, were revolutionary in the acoustic world for uh, uh, guitars. And this was their way to kind of get in there and do a guitar at a much more affordable price, yet be very competitive. And uh, they've done this with a lot of stuff. So they start with their 100 series and they build all the way up to their 900. We're gonna talk about each one of those series. And there are some uh, variances also within each one of those 100 series of you know different woods and different choices. But we're gonna kind of break all of that down uh, because you know this is definitely a popular, like you said, line for them and a lot of people are looking for guitars in this uh, style cutaway. Um, yep. All of the ACs, by the way, do come in a cutaway nowadays and uh, if an uh, uh, Eastman acoustic guitar, sorry, has a cutaway, it will also have built-in electronics. And then this, we also made a video talking about the uh, the new tone tight system for the neck joint. So this is a bolt-on neck for all of the... Not no. correct. Okay. So that will come up a little bit later. We will get into those and that breaks off some of our series as well. Um, what I we're starting out... it again. You, you should because <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong, my friend. Um, anyway, we did skip the PCH series, which is the laminate back and sides, and we decided to start uh, this in the 100 series which is the all solid wood uh, guitars. I'm holding a 222, but you are holding the AC 122. Um, and they do make this in a, also an alternate uh, 122-1, which uh, then has a cedar top and also different colors. All of these have those uh, a lot of those options, so we'll kind of break this down. But the 122 that you're holding has a solid spruce top, solid sapele back and sides, does come with a pickup already installed and their new uh, updated uh, preamp. Uh, no, actually these ones will have the Fishman Sonotone. Any of these guitars will be a Fishman Sonotone uh, from factory, which is pretty nice. Do you tone and they, volume control. Tone and volume control. Also gives you a, uh, a padded gig bag and a and it's a nice gig bag too by the way we really like those neck supports uh very heavily padded and a lifetime warranty um all of these guitars that we're going to talk about today will come with bone nut and saddle like i said lifetime warranty and some sort of case dual action truss rod a dual action truss rod you are correct uh all of them also will fall with the inch and three quarter nut width uh which is very popular for the grand auditorium spacing they do use a little bit different neck profile on these AC series than they do on the E series. A little slimmer, again, kind of paying closer attention to the style of the Taylor uh, sort of builds, which is kind of what they're modeled after. 
Um, this series is the open pour finish on Correct. this. Correct. So not quite a satin finish, but a little bit of a semi-gloss open pour finish mm -hmm. on the back and sides, and then a kind of satin finish on that spruce top. A lot of people, uh, just to clarify, uh, if you're not familiar with an open pour finish, basically what that is, these woods naturally have little pores inside them, little dimples, little uh, divots. And when you're doing a high gloss finish, uh, or even some of the satin finishes, what they'll do is take a wood filler material and fill all those pores so that's a smooth surface in order to lay that, a very it, smooth it, yeah, uh, finish on top of it. Eastman, as well as a lot of other companies, have decided to use this open pour finish to, one, make it simpler, which is more cost effective. Less time. Two, there's an argument for the fact that it may actually be more open sounding because that wood filler does not restrict and the, the wood and the finish, all. most thinner yeah. finish process on there. Absolutely. So uh, that's the 122. And like I said, that one will be a Sapele back in sides, uh, solid Sika spruce top. Now you move to the 222, which is what I'm holding as a little bit newer version. They started to add this as an oven call back in sides. Now that's the major difference between these two. And like I said, the Dash 1 uh, uh, for both these will give you a cedar top. But uh, in this case, we're dealing with the spruce top, the standard 122, 222. So back the, and sides is the difference on that one. The only difference here is going to be an oven call back and sides. Now, again, these are both really readily uh, available woods and have become a very good sustainable source for more uh, economical instruments because they do have some very similar tone properties to their higher end brethren. So this would be uh, similar to mahogany. Very similar to mahogany. Uh, oven call gives you a much more similar tone to rosewood. It's not quite the same in either one of these cases. In fact, in my opinion, I would say sapele much closer to mahogany than the uh, oven call is to rosewood, but there are a lot of similarities that kind of fall in there. Yes. So that really is the only difference. Again, this guitar is going to have the inch and three quarter nut width, does have the Fishman Sonotone um, and, and padded gig bag. And they both have ebony fretboard Fretboard's and bridge. ebony bridge, correct. And they'll have oh, the uh, sealed geared tuners. In fact, all the AC series will have a sealed geared tuner. And I think another thing that. worth mentioning in this price point is a lifetime warranty. A lot right. of other ones will give you like a five or 10 year warranty, but lifetime warranty on all the series. Exactly. And I want to say, uh, I don't have the number in front of me, but these are in the just over $600 uh, range for the 122. 222 is a little bit higher than that. Um, so you're paying a little bit more for the cutaway and a pickup than it's E1 Brethren uh, or E2, uh, you know, E3 in this case uh, on the, uh, uh, yeah, the Dreadnoughts or OMs, traditional series guitars. Yeah. So now we're back with our next two in the lineup, which is... If, if my math is correct, three and 400. Series. Correct. That is correct, Jeremy. So I am holding a little bit of special on the 400, but let's first talk about the 300 series. Now we have moved up to the full professional level mm. uh, guitars, what I would consider, you know, a professional line uh, of their full guitars. Full gloss finish. Full gloss finish, hard shell cases now, fully bound, um, and... This is mahogany or... This is or mahogany. Okay. So now at the at the 322, we've moved down to uh, mahogany back and sides and a European spruce top. Uh, so a little bit of an upgrade. Now you've also got bound fretboard in this case, uh, as well as the Hurricane inlays, which was a new addition uh, recently. And that uh, really does kind of add a little bit more of a pro look. Uh, now you also upgrade in your pickup systems. At this point now we're at an LR Bags Element VTC factory installed and there's just a lot of upper end. So again, this is a stage ready pro guitar. If you are in your worship team and you're looking for a, you know, uh, a mahogany guitar with a grand, you know, grand auditory body cutaway, Great pickup pick system. Yeah. Uh, this is a really, really great option for you right here. A little bit nicer graded tuners, not dramatically, but uh, a little bit nicer. And then we get to the 422. Now the one I'm holding is a little bit odd, uh, and I'll show, show you the differences there, but standard 422 will be an East Indian rosewood sides and back with that same European spruce uh, top, and also gonna give you the Hurricane inlays, bound fretboard, the whole deal. Same now, pickup? Same pickup you're gonna have in here as well. 
Uh, but this particular one is one the more new... thing. The... No, nope, this okay. one. Uh, that's why what makes this one All special. Right. All right. So that's normally just a, a standard one. Now the newest guitar that they added to the 400 series is the Eucalyptus, uh, which is a even more sustainable back and sides and gives a really unique tone. But what they decided to add to the 422 Eucalyptus is the tone port, which you will see on higher yeah, levels. Series. So it kind of it's the same price as the 422 uh, standard with the Indian Rosewood. But since it's eucalyptus, they gave you at the same price, they added a little bit extra feature here, giving you that uh, tone port on the side. And then this series is still gonna be a standard dovetail joint? On this the one is going to be a dovetail joint. It's not until we get to the 500 series. Jeremy, you're, you're excited I'm, to talk about this. I'm, I, I'm just I clarifying for everybody at home. So, <laughs> so that's, all these are gonna be dovetail joints uh, all the way through until we get to this 500 series. And throughout all these series, even starting with the one and 200, they're still hand voiced, uh, scalp brace. Uh, Absolutely. So each piece of wood treated individually. Very much so. So yeah, great guitars. Again, a little bit more of that. Now, the uh, price mahogany. on this one is about 10 to 49, I think, and 13. 13, 49, 49. I think it was on this uh, as and well. It's the same Somewhere price, like you said, for the eucalyptus or for the East Indian Rosewood. Absolutely. So uh, again, these are stage ready guitars. Tone wise, mahogany is going to be a little bit brighter, mid range, punchier, get a little bit deeper, richer, low end with the rosewood. And then this eucalyptus kind of falls in between a little bit. I, I was really impressed with its tonal properties. Now we're let's back add with another hundred to it. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we now back with some of the nicest premium uh, variations, and this is where they really changed the AC series over the last. Uh, I think this was about three years ago. They decided to make this move and did some really drastic changes to the AC series. This is where they added the tone ports. They added the beveled armrests. They Cup added holding. these multicolor uh, purfling lines. Um, and just and oh, a tone tight neck joint tone. also. By the way, <laughs> this one has the tone tight neck joint, which is the neck joint that was uh, borrowed developed. and uh, developed by Dana Bourgeois as uh, the same one that Bourgeois guitars use in their guitars. Gives a bolt-on system uh, for this for a very tight and also easy maintenance uh, system for neck resets in the future. Again, these are all wood bound. Uh, in this case, bound all the way through the peg head, gold tuners and just premium finishes all the way around. Now, the, you're holding a 522, which is, again, mahogany back at sides, does have that tone port on the side, that beveled armrest, boy, super comfortable uh, yes. to add in there. And now we've upgraded, no, we're still in the same one, I'm feeling down in here, it's still the LR Bags uh, uh, VTC, Element VTC, but just kind of uh, upgraded a bunch, especially this new color. Yeah. This was new uh, for the new AC series. This is the Gold Burst on the 522. You can still get it in a natural, but now we can improve or add in some of these uh, improved uh, finished colors, which just kind of make them stand out a whole bunch. With the abalone dots in the uh in the bridge, bridge pins, pins as well. Yeah. Kind of and now we got Hurricane uh, all the way up and down the fretboard yeah. as well. And like I said, you can even see that fine purfling. Uh, in your case, it has this like turquoise yeah. and red really uh, nice. purfling that goes through the peg head all the way through the fretboard and, the, and the multiple Hurricane inlays uh, all the way across. Very gorgeous guitar. Again, like I said, mahogany, European spruce top. The 600 series changes a little bit in this that one. we're now in maple. This one comes in at about sixteen eighty nine for the five hundred series. Gotcha. Um, on this one, we go to the six hundred series. Six twenty two gives you maple, maple neck, um, beautifully uh, flamed maple. By the way, on all these, does keep with a natural top. I've not seen this done in any kind of burst at all as of yet. But again, just that brighter uh, look and that classic color that they use on the maple finish. Now this one prices out at nineteen sixty nine. Again with deluxe cases. These are really deluxe level guitars. Yeah, and you mentioned earlier that it was kind of uh, in answer to the Taylor style build, and these ones really, I think, exemplify that. Just looking at the the aesthetics of them and the feel and uh, fit and feel of them, just really reminds me of a Taylor type build for a uh, very affordable, great sounding guitar. Absolutely. Now we're back with our even more premium levels here, Jeremy. Look at um, this. Yeah. That's fancy. I got a 700 series right yes, here, John. 722, now available uh, with part of that redo in the Dakota 
fade version, a new color. I really do love this color a lot. Again, it's keeping with some of that blue turquoise purfling, uh, hurricane inlays, uh, very, very similar appointments to the 522, except now with rosewood back and sides, rosewood bound. Uh, and, and they always match these bevels, by the way, yeah. to whatever the back and sides is. And I think they I think it's really attractive. It just cuts straight into that binding. It's it's an impressive build. Like these are starting to look and feel premium right yes. here. And still keep at an extremely affordable price. You're holding the 722 Dakota Fade. Uh, pricing on that one is? 1969. That is correct. Just like the uh, Maple one before it, uh, this is you know top of the line. And again, these tone ports are not something to forget about. I think this is a really good add-on. And those are done so well, like smooth uh, cut on these ones. You can just feel they put more time and effort the, the higher the, up the series it goes. They just are really looking and feeling premium. Absolutely. And then we come to the 822. Now this one is a more rare bird and we've only been seeing these uh, in the new variation here recently. Uh, I've only seen two of these, but I really love the understated uh, upper end elegance of the 822. Now we get a little bit more ornate uh, inlay in here. Uh, it does now come with an LR Bags Anthem as its standard pickup system. And now, uh, you know, with a rosewood sides and back, and again, with every one of these series, they kind of up their game on what they're selecting for the type of woods. Mm -hmm. So even though this is rosewood, any rosewood, it's going to be a little bit more select version of that rosewood than what you would see in the, uh, what was it, the, the 422, sorry. Uh, so you're just seeing a little bit more here. Maple bindings on this uh, that offset that really nice dark rosewood on here. And it's just, and now we have the abalone rosette. Just an overall aesthetically like more the, pleasing. Uh, ebony they are buttons. adding the ebony buttons to it. Again, just making it feel like a little bit more of a premium guitar. Uh, with all those great features that we keep seeing throughout this. And again, like I said, all instruments from the 522 on up will have the new Tone Tight neck system, uh, which I know is a big plus for a lot of people. Yes. That brings us to our last add-on. Again, we've now moved you over yeah, to the 822. Because we only had one more, I just yeah. we swapped and I took yours. Yeah. And the 822, we didn't mention that. I think that comes in right around $2,400, $2,399. So again, we're, we're stepping up a little bit in price, but also just in the build quality and uh, just the uh, aesthetics of it as well. Yep. And then you're at the, the final 922. in the lineup. 922. This is the top of the line in the AC series. And this one's an interesting one because we kind of had to term this one Luthier's Choice. There are specs on the website, but we have seen uh, from time to time, being time to time, being that this is the top of the line one, the folks at Eastman in the uh, workshop over there sometimes take a little bit of leeway because they want to do the premium stuff in there. And Kwa, who is head of that workshop, sometimes takes a little bit of liberties. But this is pretty consistent lately, uh, the specs I'm about to give you on this guitar. So this one, again, is the premium uh, Indian Rosewood on the back. Uh, just super, super nice uh, European spruce top on here. Now we've added that abalone uh, binding all the way around. We have this floral uh, rosette as well as this vine, rose and vine, that goes all the way up into the headstock. One thing that I really like about this is you do have a snake wood uh, binding on this, and that has been something that's been off and on, but I think it really adds an extra deal. If you've not seen snake wood, it's a really cool look. Um, I think it works really nice with that rosewood. Especially all the way up through the neck uh, into the headstock, really nice. You also do get premium tuners on this. This has the Goto 510s with the uh, Ivoroid buttons on this particular one. This is something that we've seen change, change a few times. So don't be all set on that because it may, may be a little bit different. Make sure you but, order the one that's in the pictures. Yeah, okay. always check the pictures. That's why we do that here at the Acoustic Shop. We photograph every single guitar because We did have one sometimes. that we did a video for it and then he, he ordered one and it wasn't the same as in the video, yeah. but it was the same as in the photo. So right. there are slight variants. And again, that's just they give some leeway to the, uh, the Master Luthiers over there to say, mm -hmm. what would you like to add to this guitar? Absolutely. And you'll see the figuring on this guitar, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, even the neck, everything about it is just there. So again, we're trying throwing their top of the line stuff here. And it comes at a premium price too, but still. Premium price for Eastman, yeah. Extremely affordable. Kind of entry level at for a lot of dollars $29.99 to see this much of the flash and bang. Uh, guys, that's, that's a very affordable price. And it's something, again, still does come with that Anthem uh, pre-installed uh, pickup. 
there's just a lot here. So if you were wanting to be on that, uh, you know, worship team or on stage with the most uh, flashy guitar, this is going to do it at a price that's going to be way lower than most anybody else that you would find in this type of uh, build. This type yeah. of build. So absolutely. So I, I think you know now we've kind of basically touched upon all the different models in the AC uh, series, cutaway Grand Auditorium cutaway uh, series. Now I think what everybody's been waiting for, what does each one sound like? We're going to do one of those tone comparisons where you're going to play through all the guitars, and I'm going to stand back and listen to it, and then uh, we'll come back and give our, our final analysis of the AC series from Eastman. It, ladies and gentlemen here's the thing that I think is the grand takeaway of the AC series from Eastman there are so many options if you're looking for a grand auditorium Absolutely. you have so many options in so many price points uh, and including the uh, PCH series which we didn't cover here which kind of puts you almost down in the you know $400 price point a um, lot of guitar lifetime warranty and they really do cover the entire gamut of what a grand auditorium uh, should have with extras that a lot of people are not able to offer yeah. you. So each each step in the, the line really adds a lot of value in the build and for a very affordable uh, upgrade in price too. So I think it's a, a good option no matter where you are in your guitar uh, shopping experience. If you're just starting out, there's a lot of options for you. If you're looking for that premium guitar, there's also some options there for you as well. I thought they all sounded great. Each one brings something different again, depending on Absolutely. where you're at in your journey. Um, very cool build and uh, we're, we do great with these guitars for good reason. Um, if you guys are really interested in Eastman, if you're just discovering them, we did a tour of the Eastman uh, Pomona facility where they Correct. do all the final setups before they ship it to all the U.S. distributors or uh, dealers. dealers. So we, we had a nice tour of that, that warehouse out there in Pomona. Uh, and talks a, a little bit about their history and what, they, what they're all about and what Eastman uh, is bringing to the table. So yeah, you can check a link to that. You know, we're, we can both point to it. If this you want. this yeah, one right here. There you go. Right. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and click that and check it out. And uh, hopefully, we will see you for our next video in our acoustic journey here at the acoustic shop. Uh, see you next time.